The last time I kind of uh, consorted with the doctor who's over there, he wasn't very helpful and he was also kind of mean, so I'm gonna try the cook. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. That isn't behind me, but okay. Are you James? Aye. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. As do I, my friend, as do I. Let's get up there in style. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? I believe the terminology is a p trail of breadcrumbs. Let's get down there. Over here, by the looks of it. What do we have here? Quite. Most curious. Very. And return to the cabin to the end of the day. In oh, yep, I was mistaken. There's a bed right there. Never mind. out at sea for a month and about two days. Assuming this is a month with 31 days. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. Mm. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the. Brace! Everybody down! Our warning! 
warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. But strange, there's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I don't know why the swords create a, well, a glowing effect after them. Easier on the eyes, I suspect. But this is your first dabble with swordplay? It's not that hard to understand. It was when I did it, though. Down. That wasn't so hard. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. And then I will. All right. All right. The weather doesn't appear too good. We need those ropes secured. Although the water animation does look pretty cool. I'll fix your sail for you. As to why there's raindrops on my screen, I do not know. Because technically there's nobody watching from this angle. Oh, big wave. Bit of a jump there. Come on. A bit faster than that. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Keep no, not on the rigging. Secure the rigging. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Not bad? Excellent. There's a big wave right there. Go, come on. Secure the rigging again. Get off the rigging. We need more Secure speed! Loose the sails! Hate them! You take the foremast! James! To the mainmast with you! Taking the mainmast, and up we go. That's a bit of large camera angle, but oh well. Let's get up here. Alright, no. Thank you. Down. Jump. There we go. There we go. Deploying the sail. If lightning did hit that mass, there would be nothing left of it. Well, there'd be left of something, but not that much. The rope's too wet! I'm slipping! 
36 seconds, eh? Up you get, Haytham. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. There you go. And down they go. Day 72. That's two months and something on the ship. Which is pretty accurate, because it takes about three months going slowly to get across the Atlantic. At least it did back then. Nowadays you can do it, and, well, faster than that. Telling me to get above decks, is it? And I can't get up there. Should have known. Surprised no one's come down with scurvy. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Very well. Climbing into the crow's nest. No, up, up. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. This game is pretty good for not letting you get stuck, despite the uh, many chances to, for example, in climbing and everything. Up we get. Come on. There we go. Higher. Higher. Above that sail, don't look down. <laughs> Here we go. This is the Hexagon Zero. And welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. Synchronization. Oh yeah. In the forever infinite white world. Where you can't actually get anywhere. All you can do is run. Yikes, this is a big area. Oh, my frame rate. No. Oh dear god. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Oop, let's rotate this way. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... Hello? I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Bloody hell! Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Not gonna bother with him. I've caught him before. I ran after him in my first playthrough, and nothing happened, so you don't have to bother with that. Or at least nothing happened Boston's to me. Quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Find a general store. Press tab to bring up a world map. 
For those of you who don't know, that symbol down there means tab. Anyway, here we are. There's a map. And there's a general store right there. That's what you can do. You can set markers to anywhere. And this kind of faded out, goobly, garbly crap, that's Boston. Except it isn't. Yeah, you haven't seen all of it yet, so there's not much to see. Anyway, this is uh, one of the coolest features. Oh wow, 20 frames per second, this is just killing me. This is one of the cool things you can do, is that you can pet animals. Best game ever, you can pet the animals. Anyway, let's get moving. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> These are orphans. They recommend that you toss money to them, but you can just walk past them. But this is another feature of the game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Let's try. Nope. I can't do it yet. <laughs> 